Hello, this is your guide for Friday, May 8th in Work Packet 4. This is the last day in this work package, and on Monday, May 11th, I will deliver Work Package 5. And I'll keep making these videos for every day in that package too. So let's get started. Please write neatly and don't forget your finger spaces. Practicing our sight words, read the word, trace the letters, and then write the word. Walk, please walk in the hallway. Were, we were going to go swimming. Which, which one do you like better? When? When is it time for lunch? Pull out your pencil or pen and we'll start with walk. W-A-L-K. Let's trace the letters. Start in the middle, touch the bottom, touch the middle, touch the bottom, touch the middle. A, come around, up and down. L, come down. K down and down, walk. And then over here, we'll write it by ourselves. W A L K. Finger space. W A L K. And then you finish were, which, and when. Practice your alphabet, too. At the end of the video, we're going to make a cupcake on abcya.com. Our diagraph of the day, O-A. And it sounds like O, like in boat and coat. Let's practice the O sound, like in boat and coat. So in boat, sounds like b, o, t, and k, o, t, o. Pencil or pen, and we'll write down here, o, a, Touching the lines, finger space. Oops, so I, that's too far under the line. So if you have a pencil and you do that, you can erase it. If it's a pen, you're out of luck. O, A, finger space. O, A, and finish the rest of the line, please. Fill in the missing letters for these O words. Ah, so it's different than last time. They give us the middle sound, the O sound. Oh, I'm sorry, the pen is doing that thing again. Okay, you might have to fast forward a second. I'm just going to fix this. Not sure why it likes to do that. Yeah, I think the best way is to close the pen and then open it again. It should fix it. If it doesn't, I'll just start the whole video again. Okay, so it's back. Does it work? Yes. Okay. So they give us the middle letters, O, O, O. And we have to look at the pictures and then fill in the blanks. So this looks like a boat, a fishing boat. So boat, b, 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 boat, t, t, b, o, a, t. Here, what is that? We'll come back to that one. I'm not actually sure what that is. 
This looks like a frog, but it's a big frog. And it's a toad, which isn't quite the same thing. Same family, though. So toad, t, 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 toad, d, d. Over here, that looks like toast with some butter. Toast, t, t, toast, toast. And here is a coat, like a fancy jacket. Coat. Okay. This one is confusing. What is this? What is this? Hmm. We're not doing that one. If you can figure it out, figure it out, let me know. But don't worry about that one. Who knows what that is? Draw some cars driving on this road. Okay. Uh, so it's top down, right? Well, it's kind of sideways. Okay, wheel. I'm going to draw my truck. Uh -huh. And here's me. <laughs> and you know you can have a motorcycle too why not better have a helmet on when you're on a bike and we can have a big old bus and who's on the bus all of you wing nuts that's you, that's your buddy, that's your buddy's buddy. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Daily language review. If you can figure out what that one is, let's see. If you can figure out what this is, be impressed. You get double points. Daily language review. Last one in the package. Zoom in. Uh, huh. Okay, let's start at the top. Correct the sentences. Number one, the holiday I like the bestest is Halloween. So, holiday should have a lowercase letter. It's a common noun. The holiday I like the bestest. The holiday I like the best is Halloween. And Halloween's a proper noun, the name of a holiday so we need uppercase so let's fix that try to write on the line start your sentence with an uppercase the holiday I like oh Sorry, it's hard to write on the board sometimes. The holiday I like the best is Halloween. I do love Halloween. Uppercase H. Halloween. Halloween used to be called Hollow's Eve. Period. Number two. Last year, I am a dinosaur. And this year, I gonna be Spider-Man. Last year, I was a dinosaur. Was, because we're talking about the past. I was a dinosaur. That's not the name of a person or a holiday, lowercase d. And this year, I gonna be Spider-Man. I'm 
going to, not gonna. Not gonna. I'm going to be Spider-Man, uppercase, because it's a character. Spider hyphen uppercase M man, period. I'm going to be Spider-Man. Uppercase, and last year, I was a dinosaur, comma, and this year I'm going to be Spider-Man, and this year, I'm, don't forget the apostrophe, I'm means I am. This year I'm going to be Spider-Man. Period. Complete the sentence with the correct word. Number three, my sister is going to be a green flower, flower with pink leaves. So this is the kind of flower with leaves on it that grows outside. You pick a flower and this is the kind of flower that you bake a cake with. So we need to pick this one. This, or my, my sister is going to be a green flower with pink leaves. Okay, here's a new word for you. We'll look it up. Underline the adjective in the sentence. Okay, we've talked about nouns and verbs. Adjective, let's look this up. Something new on the last day. I'll show you how you can Google words that you don't know yet. So you open up the internet, you just click right up here or here, and we're, we'll say adjective definition. That means like a dictionary. What does it mean? Usually, it tells you right here. Adjective. No, oh, she didn't say it. A word or phrase naming an attribute added to or grammatically related to a noun to modify or describe it. That's the key word, modify or describe. So if the noun was Sarah and we wanted to describe Sarah, we would say Sarah is happy. Happy is the adjective. 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 Okay. So now let's see if we can find the describing word in our sentence. Okay. Number four down here. I think my sister's costume is really cute. So what is the describing word. So her costume, they're talking about the costume. That is a noun. It's a thing. And how are they describing it? Do they say it's ugly? No, they said it's cute. It's cute. And we're supposed to underline the adjective, not circle it. So let's erase this. An adjective describes or modifies a noun. Oops. Cute. But look, I think my sister's costume is really cute. Okay, they must really like the flower. Okay, we'll do more practice with nouns, verbs, and adjectives later. That's a good little introduction. And then next year, when we're all back at school, you're going to learn all of the parts of speech. 
Okay, story time. The test. Please read the story and answer the questions. In the story, you'll see the EST, the EST family. Test. Best. Uh, rest. And West, but that's his name, so it's not a word. Okay, and the story is called The Test. Let's look at the picture. We have a kid. He's got glasses. He's thinking about math, about dice and counting, place value. Maybe it's a math test. Number one, what kind of test does he have? Probably math. We didn't even read it, but we can guess. Number two, who told him to get rest? Maybe his mom. Number three, what did he do on the test? He probably did his best. <laughs> okay. Let's read it. The test. I have a math test. I want to do my best on the math test. Miss West said I need to rest. I did rest. I did my best on the test. Good job, said Miss West. Thank you for doing your best on the test. All right. Number one, what kind of test does he have? I have a math test. Uh, we should say a uh, math test, uppercase A. He has a math test test period number two who told him to get rest his teacher miss west mrs west i believe mrs west period Number three, what did he do on the test? I did my best on the test. So my best, but you're not him, right? They're asking what did he do on the test? So we'll say not my best, his best. He did his best. All right. Now, because it's Friday, we have a journal entry. This one's all about what do you want to be when you grow up? A firefighter, a police officer, a chef, a teacher, an engineer, an astronaut, race car driver. This is when you're going to tell me about it. Okay, let's do it. Journal entry. Please write in full sentences means you start with an uppercase letter and you end with a period, question mark, or exclamation mark. And you need to have sentences, okay? There should be five, six, seven sentences, okay? And put spaces between your words. Finger spaces, please. Here's the question. What kind of job do you want to do when you are older? For example, I want to be a police officer because I want to arrest bad guys and I want to help people and I want to drive a cool police car. Okay, I'm going to do a little example for you. I don't want you to copy this. Okay, It's just so you know what the sentences will look like. And you tell me what job you want when you're older you not me okay i'll stick with my example i want to be a police officer because and when i was young i actually did think about becoming a police officer and then later i learned actually i really want to be a teacher but when i was a kid i thought about being a police officer i want to be a police officer because
So I could put period there and does that look like it's done? Is that a whole journal entry? No, that's one sentence. Okay, that's not good enough. I'm actually going to erase the period because I really love when you write this word because because it makes your sentences so much more interesting. I want to be a police officer because I want to help people. I want to help people. So now the sentence is getting pretty long. So we should think about ending it. I want to help people, period. I want to be a police officer because I want to help people. Police officers drive cool cars. I want to drive a police car. Let's say police cars look like fun to drive. You don't always want to start your sentence with I, 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 I. Switch it up. And you notice how I said it out loud before I wrote it down? I'm thinking before I write. Police cars are really fast. Are really fast. And... I like the lights, the old red and blues. These cars are really fast and I like the lights. You know what? Erase the period. I like the lights on top. I want more detail because they don't know. Am I talking about the headlights or the flashing lights. I like the lights on top. Or I could have said the flashing lights. If I don't want to erase my whole sentence, I can do this. It's called a carrot. I like the flashing lights. I'm going to have to write small. Sorry if it's hard to read. I like the flashing lights on top. I'll do one more sentence. Let's see, I'll read the whole thing. When you're doing a journal, read it from start to finish because you want it to sound like a story, like you're telling somebody something. I want to be a police officer because I want to help people. Police cars are really fast and I like the flashing lights on top. I like all the cool stuff they get to carry, like handcuffs, and the radio, and I like their uniforms. It's cool. I like the flashing lights on top. I like all the cool stuff. I don't have room to write police, so I'm going to write or go to the next sentence, the next line. I like all the cool stuff police officers wear. I like that radio that they have, like it's stuck on their chest or their shoulder, and they, they just press a button. And they're like, 10-4, 10-4, need backup. That's so cool. I like all the cool stuff police officers wear, period. Okay, that's good enough. I could add more. I could say, I want to be a canine officer who works with dogs. And my dog is going to be named Rusty. Okay, let me read the whole thing to you one more time. Then I'll draw a picture at the bottom. I want to be a police officer because I want to help people. Police cars are really fast and I like the flashing lights on top. I like all the cool stuff police officers wear. Good. Draw a picture of you doing your job. Okay, so here's me being a police officer. And, you know, I got a nice little police hat.
And let's see. Yeah, I guess I need a body. Here's my body, and I got my clothes on. Police like to wear black black clothes a lot of times. Kind of helps them sneak around at night, sneak up on bad guys. Okay, there we go. And I'll use a different color. Maybe I got some cool gadgets here. Uh -huh. I got this here, this. Let's see how about I just saved a lady's cat and then here's the old lady oh I just saved the old lady's cat all right not a great drawer can you please draw a better picture of whatever job you want to do maybe you want to work at Pizza Hut because you love their pizzas you want to cook the pizzas or you want to be a cashier because it all it says is when you're older that could mean when you're 16 or when you're 50. Yeah. You'll have a different job when you're 16 compared to when you're 50. Yeah. So just be creative. I want to hear about it. Okay, math time. Number one, 52 take away 18. Hard to do sideways, much easier up and down. 52 take away 18. Start in the ones place. 2 take away 8. 2 take away 1, 2. Oh no, there's nothing over there. So I got to borrow from the tens place. I take 1 away from 5. So 5 turns to 4. And 2 turns to 12. 12 take away 8. 12 take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4. And 4 take away 1. 4 take away 1 equals 3. 34 is our answer. Number 2, triple digit addition. 456 plus 153. Start in the ones place. 6 plus 3, 6 plus 1, 2, 3, 9. 5 plus 5, 10, right? 0 goes here, 1 goes up here. 1 plus 4, 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 1, Six. Six hundred nine. Over here, this question. Start in the ones place. Nine plus zero. Nine plus nothing equals nine. Two plus nine. Two plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11. So 1 goes here, 1 goes up here. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. 519. Number 3. Write the number. 36. 36. 52. 52. Hold on. Slow down. 36. Just like with our writing, we still want to put our numbers on the line. Sorry, I got excited. Okay, number four. Write the time that is 15 minutes later. 15 minutes later. 4.30? So, let's do 30 plus 15. 0 plus 5 equals 5. 3 plus 1 equals 4. So, the hour stays the same, so it's 4.45. Okay, over here, 2.15, so the hour, we know it's going to stay the same because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So 15 minutes plus another 15. 5 plus 5 equals 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 2 30. Number five. 
A cook needs a dozen eggs to make an angel food cake. If he has eight eggs, how many more does he need? Blank eggs. Okay, let's get the key information. A cook needs a dozen eggs to make angel food cake. If he has eight eggs, how many more does he need? Okay, how many more does he need? So remember yesterday, we learned a dozen equals 12. So he needs 12, but he only has eight. So we can do 12 take away eight. 12 take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four. So he is missing four eggs. Number one, 60 take away 40. Instead of doing it up and down, let's try to do it sideways. Okay. And still, we start in the ones place, right? The ones place. Okay. Let's think about it. So zero take away zero is going to be zero. Six take away four. Six take away one, two, three, four equals two. Sixty take away forty equals twenty. Number two, 193 plus 26. Start in the ones place. 3 plus 6. 3 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 9. 9 plus 2. 9 plus 1, 2. It's 11. 1 goes here. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 219. <gasps> 275 plus 31. 5 plus 1 equals 6. 7 plus 3 equals 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 306. Number 3. Circle the best estimate for 106 minus 49. Estimate, remember? It's like a guess. It's gonna be pretty close to this number. So 106 minus 49. So think of it like this. 106 take away 49. Okay. And our choices are 60, 80, or 100. So just looking at the question, which one do you think is the best? To help you with estimating, rounding your numbers really helps. So 106 would actually round up to 110, and 49 rounds up to 50. And then we'll get rid of this. That looks a lot easier to think about, right? 110, take away 50. So just looking at it, I know from 50 to get to 100 is another 50. 50 plus 10 is 60. Okay, rounding numbers makes it a lot easier. Number four, write the correct symbol in the circle. So remember, you're pointing at the bigger number. Okay? So less than, equal, or greater than. 963 is greater than 639. Sorry, you're pointing at the smaller number. My mistake. 963 is pointing at 639, saying, ha ha, I'm bigger than you. The big number points at the little number. 963 is greater than 639. Number five, a cheetah can run 60 miles per hour for a short distance. A greyhound dog can run 40 miles per hour. How much faster can the cheetah run? So there's a lot of fluff that we don't need to know. So we know a cheetah can run 60 miles per hour. A greyhound dog can run 40 miles per hour. How much faster can the cheetah run? Okay. So... We have 60 and 40. Should we add it? No, we want to know the difference. Bigger number on top, 60 take away 40. Zero take away zero equals zero. Six take away four equals two. 20. How much faster can the cheetah run? 20 miles per hour. Okay, one more page of math and then we're making cupcakes. And then you're done this package, good for you. Oh, one second.
smart board's getting funky. Okay, this will be tricky. I saved this for the last day. But hey, if you're one of the few kids who actually did this whole package and you made it this far, you are totally ready for this. And if you're watching this, good for you. We're going to get this together. Use the box to help you think of the questions. This box, okay? that's for your work. Okay? Just like on the last page, we can think with our writing. The first question is about subtraction, and the second question is about addition. Please write a sentence on the lines explaining your answer. Okay, so we think about it here, but we still have to write a, uh, a line. Like the last question, the line that we would write, a cheetah can run 20 miles an hour faster than a greyhound. Okay, let's do question one. And this is called explaining my math. Okay, it's great that you can get the answer, but can you tell me how you got it? Seth had $452. He spent $129. He thought he still had $300 left. Was he correct or incorrect? Explain how you know. Okay. Okay. Let's get the key info. So Seth had $452. He starts with that. He spent $129. So we'll subtract that. And he estimated he's got $300 left. Was he right? So let's do our work over here. 452, take away the $129 he spent. Start in the ones place. Two take away nine, can't do it, borrow. Five turns to four, two turns to 12. 12 take away nine, 12 take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, four take away two equals two, four take away one equals three. So he actually has $323 left. So he's close, and he actually has more money than he thought, which is always good. But the question is asking us, was he correct or incorrect? Was he right or wrong? Well, he was wrong. He said the wrong number. It didn't say, was he close? It said, was he right or wrong? Explain how we know. So... How do we say this in a nice sentence? Uh, Seth is incorrect because I subtracted and found out he has $323 left. So he is incorrect. Period. I subtracted I subtracted and found out found out he has money sign, like an S with two lines, $323 left, period. There, that's good. He is incorrect. I subtracted and found out he has $323 left. Last question of the whole package. Let's do it. At the zoo, there are 247 snakes and 159 turtles. The zookeeper said they had over 500 reptiles. Was he correct? Explain. Okay, what's the key things we need to know? So they have 247 snakes and 159 turtles. Oops. <laughs> Shame on me. Yeah. 159 turtles. The zookeeper said they had over 500 reptiles. Was he correct? Okay. Let's add 247 and 159. It'll tell us the number. 247 plus 159. 
7 plus 9 equals 16, carry the 1. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 5 plus 5 equals 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 3 plus 1 equals 4. <gasps> There's 406. He said there was 500. Just to make him feel bad, we're going to show him how wrong he is. So he said there was 500. He's a zookeeper. He should know every single animal that's in there. 500 take away 406. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Watch this. Zero take away six. Can't do it. Got to borrow. <gasps> Can't borrow from a zero. So now the zero in the tens place borrows from the five in the hundreds, hundreds place. Five turns to four. Zero turns to ten. Now I can borrow. Ten turns to nine. Zero turns to ten. Ten take away six equals four. Nine take away zero equals nine. Four take away four is nothing. So he was wrong. He was off by 94. That's a lot. At least he guessed there was more instead of less. So at least I'll have food, right? Okay, how do we say this? The zookeeper was so wrong. Was he correct? Uh, I'm going to start on this line because there's more room. He is so wrong. <laughs> hey, we can have fun with it. He was so wrong. I added... I added, and the total number, and the total number, was it 500? <clears throat> the total number was 406. Not 500. Somebody fire that zookeeper. Grr. Okay, he is so wrong. I added, and the total number was 406, not 500. Okay, <sighs> take a breath. Okay, okay. Okay, we're done. We did it. We did the whole package. Yes, pat yourself on the back. If you really did this whole thing, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you tried your best, you did as much as you could, thank you. Okay, remember, I will be there on Monday, May 11th to pick up your homework and to give you Work Packet 5. And for Work Packet 5, I will make videos every day just like this one. Okay, so I hope you watch those too. If you're watching this, I know you're one of the kids who's going to watch those two. Yeah, let's make a cupcake. abcad.com. And we're going to go down, just like with the music yesterday, but keep going down. Down, down, down. Down. And then food games in the purple. Food games. Close. We don't want that. We're looking for the cupcake one. Cupcakes, cupcakes. Make a cupcake. All right. This one's just fun. Okay, we worked hard today. Let's take a break. Make a cupcake. Okay. Let's do it. Select a yummy cake from the menu below. Hmm. Let's do a vanilla cupcake, and then we'll put some icing on there. Tap on an irresistible icing that you'd like to use. Draw on the cupcake with your mouse to put the icing on. You can mix and match as many icings as you'd like. Really? I like chocolate. Vanilla and chocolate, really yummy together. Mmm. Oh, wow. Okay, chocolate... Maybe some mint, a little bit of mint in there. Vanilla chocolate mint. Sprinkles? Select some scrumptious sprinkles and click on your cupcake to add them. Got to be hearts. More. More! We want more! Oh, that's too many. Oh, why stop now? More! Okay. And Select topping. some tasty toppings and click on your cupcake to add them. 
Okay. Click the finish button to enjoy your cupcake. Okay. More hearts. Let's see. Aww. Can I put it down here? Oh, cool. What about on the plate? Up here in the air? Ah. Okay, hearts, stars. This is a crazy cupcake. Uh, cherries, no. Flower on a cupcake. Strawberry, I love strawberries. <laughs> One more. Okay, and we're done. So we want to click finished. And then the cupcake's going to do a little dance. Ready? Are you ready to enjoy your cupcake? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Cupcake dance party! Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> okay! Well... Thanks for watching. Make your own cupcake. Is it going to look like this? Is that too many strawberries? Who knows? Okay. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you back here for work packet five. Adios. Au revoir.